Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 319, looking at the top 10 tutors for Commander. I know this is one of those topics that people have a lot of passion about. If you want to be involved with helping me on these lists, definitely follow me on Twitter. I had a great discussion over on Twitter about what cards fans of the channel and other friends there would put on the list. And I'm gonna be crowdsourcing a lot more of my research onto Twitter. Now let's jump right in with what is a tutor specifically. Tutors have been around all the way since Alpha. Demonic Tutor is the first of those cards. It allows you to search for any card in your library. I'm not limiting it to that unrestricted tutor. I like a lot of other tutors more than Demonic Tutor. In fact, Demonic Tutor didn't make the list. It's crazy powerful. It is a great card. If this was just about power level, it would be way up there. But the design in Magic has gotten better and tutors have a lot more feel related to their particular color type. A little bit of trivia about tutors before we go all the way into the list though. Demonic Tutor has been printed several times and there's some really cool Demonic Tutors out there. Demonic Tutor is one of those cards that Wizards of the Coast removed the pentagram from for a very small printing. Not the printing that most people would think, but it was removed off of his forehead for Summer Magic. That is one of the most expensive tutors out there. I have only seen one of these in person and they're crazy expensive, super rare. What's interesting though is that it looks like there's a second pentagram there on his chest that is still on the artwork. What, what a weird way to do that. There are two demonic tutors that have flavor text. One of those, which you probably already aware of, is the dual the deck demonic angels version with cool artwork with Liliana there being tortured by some demon or talked to by some demon. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. The other one has a Faust quote on it. It is the German white border demonic tutor. And if you could translate that quote for me, that would be awesome. I know it says something about poodles and scholars, but Google Translate clearly kills that one. There is a really cool foil demonic tutor out there that is a judge tutor. If you would like an inexpensive black border original looking tutor, I would definitely go for the collector's edition. It's about $30. Can't play it in tournaments, but if you're just using it for a cube or EDH, it looks beautiful and it costs about 10% of what those alpha or betas do. There are some crazy expensive tutors out there. I try to make my commander lists affordable. It's a casual format. And in fact, Imperial Seal, which is super expensive, several hundred dollars, is actually not that good of a tutor. Vampire Tutor is better at a much lower price tag. And Imperial Recruiter, great card, crazy expensive. Honorable mentions here. I couldn't put all the tutors on this list. I had to cut somewhere. Lynn Sivia is one of my favorite tutors of all time, but isn't that powerful in EDH. Tezzeret, super powerful. Didn't make the list because I've got other tutors with similar effects. Booster Tutor is one of the absolute most fun tutors out there. I especially like it in Cube, but I'm throwing it into an EDH deck and then carrying around a few old, rare boosters that I'm gonna pull out and pull cards out of just for fun. And Doomsday is a broken tutor. Just incredibly broken, too over the top powerful. Number 10 spot here, I've got some red tutors. Gotta include red, gotta hit all the colors. Red is one of the weakest when it comes to tutors. Goblin Recruiter, amazing card. Gamble should basically read, put the card directly into your graveyard because that's what happens every time I use it unless I'm playing a lands deck where I really want it in my graveyard. And then Godo, Bandit Warlord, amazing commander. Well worth playing, fun, fun, six casting cost, a little bit crazy there for the cost, but when you're able to grab something like a Argentum Armor and put it into play, so worth it. Number nine spot here, I've got some colorless tutors out there. If you are looking for a tutor and you really want one in your deck, Ring of Three Wishes or Planar Portal will fit in any deck. I think these are a little bit 
over the top in mana costs. Commander is a slower format. I know lots and lots of people that play these. If you're playing competitively, avoid them altogether. But if you're just going to play for fun and you want a way to go search up some cards and put together that cool interaction that you've got, those are definitely available. Sword of Animist. This is an incredible card. I've started to play this in some decks. It's a really nice way to ramp in any color. Praetor's Grasp. Probably not going to make other people's list, but this is one of my absolute favorite EDH cards. You get to tutor through somebody else's deck. Take their combo piece. They won't be able to cast it. Take that sword and then play it on your own creatures. This card is lots of fun because it allows you to beat people with their own stuff. Okay. Fun is a relative term there. Number seven, commanders that tutor. What's better than a tutor? A tutor you can recast from the command zone again and again and again. Some of these might be broken, especially Scion. Incredibly good commanders. I may do a whole list of just commanders that tutor. Number six spot here. On the competitive side, this is one of the absolute best blue cards out there. It tutors for all the broken, incredibly good artifacts out there, including your rocks, your Sensei's Divining Top, and Engineered Explosive. This card is so good that I'm playing it as a four of in Vintage, so it clearly should be played in Commander. Number five spot here. These are the black tutors that I really like more than Demonic Tutor. Vampiric Tutor is on the super powerful spiky side. Lose two life, it feels a little more like a tutor that would be black. And Demonic Consultation, ooh, you've got to have some guts to play this card in EDH. You're going to get the card you want at instant speed, but a huge part of your deck's going to be gone. Competitive side, I can see playing it in a combo deck. Non-competitive side, it just feels black to exile a huge amount of your deck while looking for the right card. Number four here, I've got some white tutors. Steel Shaper's Gift, Quest of the Holy Relic, and Stoneforge Mystic. They all go after equipment, and equipment is reusable. It is so strong in EDH. Swords, one option there. Agenta Armor, another option. My personal favorite of these three is Quest for the Holy Relic. It's one casting cost. If you've got an aggressive deck, you're going to be able to get those quest counters on really quickly, and it skips the need to equip it. You can save a lot of mana with this. Stoneforge Mystic is clearly the most powerful competitive one on this list, but Quest for the Holy Relic is great fun. Number three spot here, who doesn't need to tutor for their utility lands? Weathered Wayfarer, reusable tutor effect in white. But if you're not in white, Expedition Map makes a solid alternative in any other deck. In fact, you could put both of these in a deck. Number two spot here, Blue Tutors. Blue had a lot of interesting options, but these feel like the best to me because they tutor, steal, and put things into play. It has that control magic plus tutor feel to it. Knowledge, exploitation, play your opponent's cards, bribery, beat them with their own creatures. You're that manipulative blue player. Enjoy beating them with their creatures. The number one spot here, we've got green tutors. Green is so good at putting incredible creatures directly into play or into your hand again and again and again. Survival of the Fittest is a reusable demonic tutor for creatures that also helps you fill up your graveyard. If you've got a recursion strategy, it's just over the top broken. And Natural Order, directly into play. Green Sun Zenith, directly into play. What more can you ask for? Green has incredible commander tutors. One last honorable mention here, intuition. To find the cards that you need in commander, subscribe to the channel. Broken instant speed tutor in blue. Help me make great videos, become a patron of the channel. Thank you to everybody who's over there supporting Mythic MTG Tech. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, choose the cards wisely.